Hey there, Forever Burnt Doll fans. I'm doing a box packing. This is of a beautiful, beautiful doll. I just love her beautiful eyes. You'll get to see her in just a moment. So first of all, she comes with a Jorge Aguilera original. This little uh, cow print dress. Looks so beautiful, this gray blue with her eyes with a little, a little cow print and little bloomers. So let's wrap this up. And we'll do it in a little bonbon style. I just love his outfits. I recently got a bunch of them from a retiring artist. And I've never had so many before, and I just think each one of them is so beautiful. They're just a work of art from the prints that he chooses to the style. Adding all those little bits of a ribbon and lace, and they are just so cool. And it's funny, just at the same time this one sold, I got someone asking me if I would make another Piper as a custom, this time with blonde hair. And you will see that this little one has dark hair. She actually reminds me a lot of my daughter. It's I gave her kind of an unusual combination of dark hair and bright blue eyes. But that's what my daughter had when she was a baby. All right, so she's going home. I had to give her a cow pacifier clip, right? With that cute little outfit. And this is a display pacifier. Now display pacifier, just what that means is it's not, it won't fit in her mouth. Um, she doesn't have an open mouth, but it's something to that looks more realistic, you know, than a magnetic one. She does have a magnetic one. I chose blue to go with the blues of her outfit. And then she's a rooted doll, so she gets mohair conditioner. So let's wrap that up. Let's put a little ribbon on that. And like I said, I've been putting my um, little mascara wand like inside, so people are saying it's getting lost or they're forgetting it and they're accidentally throwing it out when they throw out the box all right so hang on there's your coa okay there we go coa put that in her box and then certificate with all of her information and by the way it has all of my contact information there in the back so you can freeze that if you actually need any of that best way to contact me is via Facebook if you're interested in a custom doll just look for near and far reborn doll nursery on Facebook and let's grab her She's got a nice plush blanket. Here she is. Woo! I'm real, I'll take you off the dry bud here in a second. Um, this little piper. She's got super soft hair. I am not a mono rooter. I, I, I'm asked that all the time. I am a micro rooter and it's not the same thing. So a mono rooter is there's one hair per hole every single time. I'm a micro rooter. That means that Sometimes there's one hair per hole. Usually it's like two or three, but that still gives you, if you can see on the side of her head, it still gives you, like you can see the skin through the hair kind of a thing. And here she is. I'm going to, sorry, this, when I do it this way, I cover up. All right. She looks a little weird there, but you can see how bright blue her eyes are. And I just thought that would look so different and interesting with, um, with her bright, wide-eyed expression. There we go. And she does have, you can probably tell, she has a neck ring, so her head turns really easy and her, her limbs rotate, which is really nice. Okay, so let's put the bag over her head. This is going to give her a horrible case of box hair, but it will also protect everything really, really well. That's a great way to recycle and reuse. All right, we're going to cross an arm here. 
She's got one bent arm and one straight arm, and then she's got one bent leg and one straight leg. <laughs> so kind of interesting. So this is a pretty blanket. I feel really bad. It's like 100 degrees today here. I'm wrapping her up in this super plush blanket, but I thought it looked really cute with her outfit. And then we've got this pale pink ribbon. I like to wrap my baby girls up in like a real ribbon. So that way um, their uh, owner can wrap it, uh, you know, use it as like a head wrap. That's so cute. Okay. Tay. Let's just gonna move that out of the way. And scoot her over a little bit. And we'll bring the box into view. And I did test her out to see if she was gonna fit. I wasn't quite sure because she is a 21 inch doll. And sometimes 21 inches, especially if they have a straight leg, do not fit. Now she is going to fit tightly. But again, that is good. It's actually good. It's gonna keep her very, very well protected um, on her trip. So we're gonna put her toothbrush there. And again, this is my favorite spot to put the mohair conditioner, which is another reason why I don't wrap the um, toothbrush in because you see if you put see the toothbrush won't, won't fit if I do it that way okay and put that up against her face and then tuck that in there I will grab a few diapers probably is the only thing that's going to be able to fit in there because she really fills up that box so I hope you've enjoyed this uh lovely box packing of Piper uh, and I will see you the next time. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.